For this project, the windmill flower, which I have unfinished here, I've painted it up with our Daniel Smith watercolor ground, which you can see here, and I'm now ready to paint with our Daniel Smith watercolors. For this project, I'll be using our Daniel Smith watercolors in New Gamboge, Pyrrole Orange, Sap Green, Cobalt Blue, Quinacridone Burnt Orange, and two of our watercolor sticks, Quinacridone Coral and Serpentine Genuine. The first color I'm going to use to paint with is our New Gamboge, which is a brilliant yellow. I finished painting in the petals of our windmill flower with our new gamboge, which is a transparent, brilliant yellow, kind of a daffodil yellow. Now I'm going to paint in the center of our flower with our pyrrol orange. I finished painting in our pyrrol orange center and now I'm going to go ahead and start painting the leaves and the stem with our gorgeous sap green. Next we'll paint the blue base or pot of our windmill flower with cobalt blue. I've now finished painting in our little blue pot for our windmill flower and now I'm going to use our quinacridone burnt orange to paint in the soil for the pot. I finished dabbing in the quinacridone burnt orange soil for my flower pot and now I'm ready to use our Daniel Smith watercolor stick in Serpentine Green Genuine and I'll start making some detailed marks for my leaves. So I've finished making my marks with my Serpentine Genuine watercolor stick and now I'll go back in with my brush and soften those marks in just a little bit. Now that I softened up those lines, I'm now going to use my Quinacridone Coral and add some details in my flower petals. So I've gone in and drawn these little tiny lines with my watercolor stick and added some little dot details here in the center of my flower. And now I'm going to take my brush and draw through these little lines to dissolve them and soften them up just a teeny bit. After dissolving these little lines here, I'm going to dip my brush into the Quinacridone Coral watercolor stick and I'm going to put in a little detailing underneath here which will connect with these little marks. I'm going to further dissolve these little lines I've drawn and finish up on my windmill flower. The last step is to spray the project with an archival aerosol MSA varnish with UVLS to protect it. You should be able to see, although it can be hard in the video, the delicate watercolor, the colors of the windmill flower that you just can't get from other types of paints because watercolor is transparent and allows the white of the watercolor ground to glow through. Our Daniel Smith watercolor ground can be applied to wood, metal, plastic, plaster, glass, fabric, and canvas and allows you to paint on it with your watercolors. It transforms those surfaces into watercolor paper-like surfaces. That's our Daniel Smith windmill flower watercolor project using our Daniel Smith watercolor ground.